those of you that are watching online you may have heard of an idol before an idol an idol can be made of wood an idol can be made of mud some idols are made of stone depending on the prescription of the spirit being that is giving you insight into what is required in order to trap its dimensions down are you there okay now um um I want to show you how it looks like. Can you transmit this picture to... Where is Philip? Okay. Transmit the picture to uh, Pastor Dan. And Pastor Dan is going to transmit it to the media people. And they will give us a picture of the kind of thing he's talking about. Please be patient with us. I know you are aware of these things. But I just realized when I checked the number of people that view our meetings, <laughs> it's so much. So we need to be giving attention to the people that are online. And most time, when we carry on with our, in our own way, we don't really reach them out there. All right, so once upon a time, I was in the city of Zaria ministering, and I met this young man, and the young man came for counseling. And he told me where he's from, a certain state in Nigeria. And he told me that he was in a very remote area and uh, he was going to fetch water from the stream i know those of you in the united kingdom don't know what a stream is it's a small body of water that flows all right and that's where our villages drink from there's no pipe pump water there's no borehole systems they drink directly from the open stream <laughs> you must have discovered why we are very healthy it's because we've been exposed to all kinds of gems and the gems are now at home with our body okay so because the other day my friend came from the united states to ghana and he could not drink bottled water that the bottled water was reacting with his stomach that there was only one type of bottled water in ghana he could drink that's the voltic voltic bottled water that was the only type of bottled water <laughs> hallelujah i don't want to comment on that but i'm just telling you that god has blessed us okay so this guy went to the stream to fetch water and then a spirit leaped out of the stream and suspended in the air and told him that, you see, we've been looking for you. We want to give you wisdom. Are you interested in our wisdom? He said, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm interested. I'm interested. So they now gave him three alligator pepper to eat. And the reason why they gave him alligator pepper, sorry, those of you online, you may not know. There's one type of pepper that you don't find in the stores in the United Kingdom, in London. You don't find them in Cardiff. You don't find them in New York. You find them in Wuruku. So the next time when you show up for IEC, ask someone to get you a sample of alligator peppers. It's a strange kind of peppers. And meanwhile, don't try it out. <laughs> the, the Lord gives you understand. So they gave the guy alligator pepper to eat. And the reason why they gave him the pepper to eat was because he was in the flesh. They wanted him to, 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 to ascend. It's just like, you know, they need him high. So and the pepper could do that as fast as possible. You can also achieve that with taking alcohol you, you can ascend into the frequencies of darkness those songs that people that are drunk sing they're actually hearing it eh? <laughs> the, the guys are actually hearing those songs so it's not as if they're just singing out of nowhere no somebody is dictating a tune the song may not have any relationship with the treble or the bass left but the song exists and it's being dictated to them and they are finding uh finding expression in the midst of that song so they gave him the pepper and they, he, he went high in the spirit so they began to dictate to him how to set up a shrine and the technology they gave him is the kind of technology that mirrors the dimension the realm in which those spirits are found in the spirit realm so when you can mirror that dimension in the natural realm you can actually trap those spirits into that place where the shrine is so when chief said the thing is a spiritual reality and they found a technology to trap it in a physical material now so when you see an idol are you there the spirit is not always in that idol 24 hours a day the spirit only comes into that idol that idol is a technology i'm talking about and it's built to capture the dimension that the spirit operates so the spirit can be trapped in it okay so when they do incantations and do enchantments the enchantments mean to give instruction to demons so when they do enchantments the demons now are trapped in those vessels those vessels that are designed to contain them 
Are you there? I know it's on the screen. Just walk with me for now. Okay? So, so those, those things, they are, depending on the spirit, the vessels that can trap them are different. Um, most of you don't know the dwarf spirits. Most of you don't know that. You don't know the lexicon of spirits. And today is not the day for that. But there are containers that are used to trap dwarf spirits. Uh, dwarf spirits are the most vicious me messenger spirits. And most of the people, unfortunately, in Africa, most of the people that go into politics use the services of these spirits. When we, when we come to talk about the lexicon of spirits, at least the ones I have seen in deliverance, in territorial warfare, there are not too many, but I've seen a few. And uh, the ones that operate here in this land, yes, I've seen a few of them. And the Lord has taught me what we need to do to disarm them. In fact, some of the breakthroughs we have had as a ministry is because of the fact that we disarmed so many of such spirits that have been released to hinder the advancement of the kingdom of God. But today is not the day. Okay, so what we are saying is that you can trap those realities within a physical context so that there can be interaction, there can be exchange, and there can be transaction. Is that clear? So if you are watching us now from anywhere in the world, this is the physical object that that reality can be trapped in. Meanwhile, Chief, what is this thing? Because it this one now is physical. What is this thing? This, this is cutting. This one is a, it's a, it's an idol. It's an idol? Yes, sir. You said that the picture is not white. It's an idol. It looks like this toy that baby is playing. It looks like a baby doll. Baby, do, baby doll, yeah. And there are many of them. It could be carved wooden image, or sometimes they use this thigh bone. Okay, the, 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 the thigh bone, okay. Um, of a human being. Of a human being. Yeah, so, so they, 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 they sacrifice. And then the reality can come into that yes, bone. Yes, they will sacrifice somebody that has value. The All effect right, so, of... So, so listen, listen. They will sacrifice somebody that has value, not just somebody walking around the streets. No, 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 no. Just, then they just catch the person and kill. No, no, no. The person is promising. He has a bright destiny. They have seen that if they allow him be, he will turn out to be a great person. So they sacrifice that person. And then they use the blood, the poet, and it's activated. The poet on this idol. Think, yes, and, and it's activated. The reality within it accepts that offering. Then it is activated. And what will be the consequence? From that moment, an okay. ordinary person's eye cannot see it. This one, the way I was seeing it is because the powers have been deactivated. That's now, what can see. All right. So the reason why we can see this one right here, right now, is because it's not yet been activated. The moment it becomes activated, it is invincible. Is that what you're saying? Yes, sir. Oh, my. And now, so the next question I have for you, because I believe a thousand and one uh, people in our audience will be asking the same question. How did they discover this technology? Because it's not in our physics textbooks, it's not in the chemistry textbooks. Uh, the people believe that this came from Etilo tradition. I don't know how true it is, but it's oh, a foreign It means ball. that the Etilo people are technology. more advanced yes. in this technology. Who is an Etilo man here, Etilo? I don't know whether... It's, that's true, but I heard it came from. <laughs> Pastor Ephraim, what do you know about these things? Because they said they imported it from among your people. Um, so, those of you online, please stay with me. It is for most of you that studied in Cambridge and in, in Harvard, in Oxford. Um, you are not likely to believe what we are sharing right now, but you are a victim of it even, even though you are. In fact, satanic power is more effective when you are absolutely ignorant of his presence and his potency. That's the easiest way to be a perpetual victim. Your life will be shaped by it and you'll be unaware and you're the life of your children and it keeps going on until someone that is knowledgeable in the way of priesthood arises and sets up an altar that has the capacity to contend with the altar of the devil. Now, so, uh, Pastor Ephraim, yes, sir. what do you know about, they said this thing came from a Tulu land. Not really from the information I have from my father. Okay. He's from the other generation. He, he told me that it came from the Crossiverian, mm. Crossiver, the people that the team called I'm down. seeing a lady from Crossiver. Yes. She's already... Yes. We got lady, it from stand the, up, lady. Yes, I know. The way you reacted, I know you are from Crossiver. So he told me it has been imported by the tea people from the Udam, which is cross rivers. But the Tulu people also got it from the tea people. Oh. <laughs> it seems that every 
every ethnic extraction is denying the source of this. So this thing you see here is not a small thing. This thing is not a small thing. This thing you see. Okay. Sister from Cross River, do you know anything about this? Which part of Cross River are you from? Do you know anything about this? This technology? Okay. The one I know is not really about prosperity. It doesn't it's, it's not prosperous. Okay, it doesn't prosper people. No, but so why, what does it do? It's just giving to a family to be powerful. Like they are just powerful over every other person. Powerful in what sense? Powerful politically, powerful like, intellectually, powerful financially. Not financially, it's just you can it shows you have power. You are not see. The product of an altar is not is not an illusion. When an altar is brought into a matter, there's, there are practical solutions that you see on the ground. It's not an illusion. When you say power, what are you talking about? Yeah. You, she's not so the, the, the definition she's giving is this because you'll be powerful. You'll be powerful. Yes. Politically, if you contest, there are, there I are know seven it. corridors of power. Yes. There's intellectual power. There's financial power. There's political power. There's spiritual power. Are you there? Me, I have spiritual power. Huh? And it goes on like that. Seven corridors of power. And what you are saying doesn't suit any this, of these. This corridors. particular one, they are the ones that are made the chief of the community. Is that not political power? Okay. Political. If you are the chief of the co community, do you need more money? You just come up with a policy and say, all of you, bring money. <laughs> it depends on what you're looking for. Okay, it depends on, on what, what you're looking, looking for. Yes, okay. if you're looking for money, money will come. If you're looking for politics, okay, if okay, you're, okay, yes. I understand what Positions in politics. Power. Yes. Yes. Um, what's your name? Virginia. Virginia, all right. So you can turn in the microphone. So you were giving us a very deep... They believe so the when it is believe. service, it disappears. It disappears. And uh, it only appears when it needs they want to kill. Want to, what do you mean by that? To kill. For instance, if they want to kill somebody and the person is not available. Okay. Or maybe the person who wants to kill is having some level of compassion. For the, for for the, the person? Thing. Yes, they, they want to lure kill. you to come in. Maybe they'll send you go to so-and-so place, open so-and-so bag, and pick something there, and they bring for me. And as you get there, the thing will appear. appear and then it snaps you. Uh -huh. As it snaps your picture. There's nothing, I only know of two people that escape that. That, okay, wait, wait. I mean, brethren. Wait, wait. I'm not talking about unbelievers. We're already confused. Brethren. We're already confused. Just like Satan carries a canon camera snapping people. Yes. <laughs> we, we have seen the original canon. <laughs> yes, sir. So, so it takes your picture. Takes your picture. Oh, so that's when he begins to look for how to kill you. look for a way to kill you. Either ah. by accident, sometimes some of the accidents that happen actually is not accident. They already killed you already, and then they'll just uh, circumstances shoot. and situations just to steal money, something, and then they'll call this accident. Translate and effect the thing that is already being accomplished in the realm of the spirit. Yes. All right. So after this sacrifice, what are the symptoms that you begin to find? What is the effect of the sacrifice? What, uh, what happens is that the sacrifice is yearly, either yearly, depending on the, the covenant. It's either yearly or maybe after three months or four months, somebody will go down. And it's them, just the way you were teaching the other time, they are the one to choose who should be killed. You can't just go and kill a drunkard. And all. They prefer graduates in the midst of illiterates because that will add more credit if you're a graduate. I heard that the value of a graduate is like 10 people put together. Okay, the value of an intellectual, the so, value of a graduate is like 10 novices put together put together yes sir and once somebody is killed at that point we need to say the lord have made the lord have mercy yes once the blood is poured and is activated what happens is that they make a contention that they choose one person from the family that will be very powerful so the impact every other person the yes, impact sir. of all of that ritual that is done will be channeled in the life of one person. and you'll be very prosperous it now, happens now that's just like the ark in the so, house so, so, within so a that's short a, period of time that's the aspect that I want us to really dig into. Yes, How that man becomes prosperous. The spiritual power to empower him to prosper has been released. Yes, sir. Now, does he just sit at home and prosper? No, 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 no. He or must be doing something. He must be doing something. Even if his granite is selling. Even if his granite is selling, he will, will prosper and become big. Governors will be coming there to buy. Yes. I'm just trying to open your eyes to see when we say you have set up an altar. You cannot set up an altar. In fact, are you there? And do nothing and expect that something will come out of nothing. That's not how it works. And that's what the Bible says, whatsoever he lays his hands upon 
to do it shall prosper the spiritual dimension the spiritual possibility the spiritual potential has been unleashed but you will need to translate it into goodwill into performance by laying your hands on something so there is a work aspect there's a work aspect so okay does this thing expire um it does it have a chef life it does not according to what i been told is that uh, an individual does not own it okay even if you desire to prosper you kill somebody or you have an, a wooden image, you got a wooden image, and then you kill somebody and activate it. As soon as you activate it, it disappears, and it's a community that owes it. Ah. Community of witches, that's what the people call it. It's the community of witches. Even if you yes. go and buy it, bring it, and you say you want to run private practice. It might even disappear from your hand. It, and it disappear from your hand as soon as you activate in, it. In the community of witches. Yes. So they control it. They determine who owes it. And it's like this is where the democratic principles in Tivlan came from. This is what this thing they call Yanawangba. Eat wait, up wait, and give wait, your brother. Wait, wait, wait. This is irritation. You are, you are talking to English men. Okay. <laughs> that dimension you went. <laughs> May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. Christ. Amen. Now listen. I'm tempted to talk about witchcraft, but I resist the temptation. Can you see that this type of empowerment is stirred, is controlled by the community? Of witches there are many of you that cannot understand your warfare and most times you want to fight your warfare alone you are not capable and that's the reason why we hold corporate services is because your warfare began from a community of witches it will take a community to contend with the community and that's why spiritual warfare in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 it's a we wrestle I just spoke with a sister of ours she went to study in the United Kingdom and suddenly this this cycle of depression begins to hit her and all of that and then she reports i said sister there is a coven close to where you are schooling and the sparrows are being casted on the entire community i know you are keeping your own prayer watches but it seems you pray alone she said yes i said you know your own prayer as an individual as powerful as it is cannot counteract a conclave of witches the context must be the same in the case of the administration of an altar to shield you from the effect of another altar if it was set up by an individual then your own individual altar Did you get that and that's the reason why we come you know to come here for 40 days i know i know you are spending money for transport there's a lot of that that is going underground but um, the collective benefit from gathering like this together and the spiritual power that we can muster on the strength of this corporate gathering makes it what all the while and there are many of us that have come here just for a good worship service and you did not know that you were already the, you were the, the photographer the spiritual photographer had snapped you and there are many of them and you can be a witness that we have been able to pick out of the congregation and break that hold of satanic photography from you must understand that there is something called a community of witches they influence the lives of people in territories, influence the lives of people in families, and it is always a corporate satanic effort. And that's why we need to also have a corporate divine community that we maintain a corporate altar. Now, so, so uh, the, the person must do something. Yes, sir. In order for the goodwill that has been generated to translate into finances, to translate into the greatness that uh, that community of witches have bestowed upon him. Now, my question is, does he pay any form of taxes or royalties to the community of witches that have picked him out of the pool of men and have decided to empower him? That one, maybe they're doing spiritual is not something I'm aware of, but I know that. <clears throat> and it's, it's rotational. It's rotational. So rotational. they can decide that uh, you've used it for seven years, uh, your time has expired, let us hand it over to someone else or another clan. Yes, sir. and normally somebody must die. See, in order to activate Before, it for that clan, somebody yes. from that clan will die. To take and it from you, somebody must die. Oh, to and take the it from the place you, somebody... where they are taking it to, <laughs> somebody will die there too. Before. All right. So you must have heard in the lecture. You must have heard in the lecture that the dialect that the spirit realm can understand is called what? Sacrifice. I but, heard that where it's being kept. Sometimes they dig the ground and put it there. Some are inside a tree some are kept they carry it in their body 
it's, it's being kept in different places. Like the one that my pastor went to pray for. The pastor was praying for uh, the man, and then his eyes opened. It was the man that came to him and said that he has I have one. He has one. one. Okay. And the thing is killing people, and now he has gotten born again. I doesn't know what to do. So the pastor prayed for him. He told the pastor that he's been kept, his own is being kept inside a mango tree. Okay. And so he prayed for him. And after the prayer, the power of God picked him and he was slain. And then the pastor told him that that mango tree would die as a sign that the powers of the building has been deactivated. And actually that was what happened. So they have different places that where they, they kept them. But what I heard is that if it's kept under the ground, mm -hmm. that royalty thing that you talk about, this a kind of money that they that come is. there occasionally to you know, drop. The lesser aware, denomination. I'm aware that you must pay. Royalty. Yes, this kind of money that they come there, and drop. you know, and drop. And Where was it that we went to? I forgot the name of the city. Somewhere in Europe, and there's a fountain where people go to drop money. Uh, one of our friends took us there, um, Pastor Emmanuel. Uh, Philip, if you have the poster for Pastor Emmanuel. You will put it on at the end of my sermon. My sermon. And so Pastor Emmanuel took me there, and people come there, and uh, they say it is said that if you two people are in love, they go there and throw coin and make covenant. If you see the number of coins that I met, <laughs> may the Lord help us all in the name of Jesus. Christ. Okay. Yes. Any other final? comments uh -huh. on this matter well this is as I said earlier on some they are in animals they hide them in animals no 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 something like there's something they call Ayu Ayu is, is a controversial demon that is a mermaid actually Ayu is mermaid is it mermaid manatee manatee, manatee. yes down here is fish up here is a woman a human being, let me say human being. Up here, human being. It's a fish. Down there, fish. Up here, human. Wait, I think we are saying different things. Is it? Are you talking about a mermaid? Yes. Is it real? It's real. If you go to zoo here, this uh, Benin State Zoo, you see the skin where the, the one that was killed, the skin, you see it. I, I saw it. They we are going it. there tomorrow. Okay, sir. <laughs> Can I throw some light on that? Please, all the light, all the light. Throw. <laughs> A mermaid is different from manatees. Okay, manatee. Okay. Manatees is a fish. Right. But it has this mystery about it that when you get the head, you know it has some strands of hair. It has some strands of yes. hair, yes. That's true. Once you get it and make a sacrifice, it will have the same effect like that. Uh, oh, like this. That thing. is what I'm talking yes. about, yes, sir. So people catch that fish and they use the head. Yes. Once you go to a fisherman and they, you know they, they, they have caught this one, you will buy. But okay. once blood is offered uh, on it. Okay. It becomes very potent Jesus. in attracting prosperity. Do you know that it's only when we get to heaven that we'll know we'll understand many things. But let us have sufficient understanding to disarm Satan while we are here. No wonder they killed that one in the zoo. Okay, yes, sir. Jesus Christ. Before we knew it, the one in the zoo. Because when I was small, we used to go to the zoo to, to see the manatee. Then only for me to come back when I started schooling in the university here, there was no more manatee there. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. Because anybody can come there and steal it. I use it for... All right. Very dangerous. All right. Now, put your hands together for... Jesus.